The focus mode, previously known as do not disturb mode, added much more complexity to the issue and some people don't know how to actually get out of this. Right now you can see I am in the work mode. The lock screen is actually black, I don't get any notifications, any phone calls and it can be kind of frustrating if you don't know what's going on. There is an easy way to get rid of this. The first one is to swipe down on the control center and you can see right here the work is on. If you tap on it, it's gonna turn it off. But there's also a difference if you tap on this whole toggle or just this circle, because if you tap on it, it's gonna turn it on. If you tap anywhere else, it's gonna show you all of the other options. And here you can also disable the work and enable driving. Everything just turns on and off just by clicking on it. And you can even create your own new focus. You can customize this one. You can choose many different things. If you plan on using the actual focus mode and you don't want to enable it indefinitely, you, just, you can just turn it on for like one hour or until this evening. So you turn it on for one hour and it's going to be turned on until 12.4. So you can see that it just works kind of well for one hour or until this evening until 7 p.m. Another way how you can turn it off is right here in the lock screen. So you can tap on it and here at the bottom it says work because I am in the work mode. You're gonna tap on it until of course at least you have to unlock your iPhone. So right now it's been unlocked. Now you can tap on it and it gives you the very same menu so you can just uncheck it and if you come back the work mode is turned off i can see my wallpaper clearly i even get the notification right on my macbook saying that the work mode has now been disabled so it works across your devices but the reason that it happens to you most likely is that you have it scheduled and this means that it just happens regularly so you go to the settings and there is a dedicated focus mode so for example for work i have it set up to this so you can see the schedule is 9 a.m till 12 p.m and then 1 p.m till 3 p.m so this is my schedule if you want to turn it off just click on it and delete the schedule or just disable it and just make sure that you don't get in the focus mode in the first place then you're not going to have to disable it of course the best way would be to get to know it and to use it the way it was intended to be so you get the most out of it you can actually use it as a feature share across devices is also very important because whenever you have your ipad iphone and mac or anything else if this is enabled, it means that once you turn off your work, do not disturb driving or anything else when it comes to focus, all other devices will be affected. When this is off, you're gonna have to disable it manually on every single of your devices. So I'd like to keep it uh, turned on so it just syncs within all my Apple products. Then the, the focus status is also another thing that people kind of don't like about it it's because uh, when you are in these do not disturb driving sleep and work when all of this is enabled it means that whenever you are texting someone they are gonna see that you have the notification silenced so you're gonna get this notification or this text in your messages and it just lets other people know that you're busy so in case you still want to have the focus mode turned on and don't want to share it, turn it off. You can keep it like this. You can still work in your work mode, but other people simply don't have to know about it. It's a good feature, but uh, it depends on you if you want to have it turned on or not. Now, if you have ever wondered how you can add text on your lock screen and how you can edit it so simply that you can remove here and write something else, so if this is something you want to know how to do then check out this video right here and i'm going to show you exactly how you can do it